executive chef Robert Ash, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a very classic dessert that most of us really don't pass up when it comes to dessert, creme brulee. So let's get started. It's really three simple ingredients, heavy cream, granulated sugar, egg yolks, and your flavoring. Today we're going to use a vanilla bean. You're probably like, wow chef, you know, you go to the grocery store, you see one vanilla bean for almost $8 a piece. Yes, it is very pricey these days, but the flavor and the impact that you can get out of it is just incredible. But to cut open a vanilla bean, most people are like, well, how do you get the seeds out? You got this tight little bean. Best way is you take the back of your knife and you just flatten it out. Just get it nice and flat. Then very carefully put the tip of it in and we're gonna cut it lengthwise like so. Just like that. So you get two, two little pieces like so. All those vanilla beans are right on the inside. You want all those beautiful little pods and seeds that holds all the flavor. We're, we're going to sit here and we're going to scrape out all those seeds. Just like so with the front of your knife. So you get all those seeds and pods and all that flavor. But there's still a lot of flavor in this bean. So we're going to stick it right into our heavy cream. We're going to put both of those right in there. I'm just going to bring this uh, heavy cream up just to a simmer. We don't want to get it too hot. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be tempering it into the uh, the egg and sugar mixture as I'll show you in a minute but now we're just going to bring out all those seeds as you can see in there you see all the little black specks in there and it's just starting to come up to a simmer so let's pull that off so what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of mix together the granulated sugar and your egg yolks like so you know it doesn't have to be the light red, yellow uh, the lemony ribbon stages uh, some recipes call for or real fancy it's just really incorporating the two together now we're going to take some of this hot cream mixture. Just small amounts at a time and just slowly incorporate that cream in. You pour all that hot cream into this egg yolk, egg yolk mixture, you're going to have vanilla scrambled eggs. I don't think you want those for dessert. So we're going to slowly warm up your eggs. It's called tempering. So this is what we have. We have a little bit of tempered cream and uh, egg mixture. We're just going to pour that right back in. Now at this point we have all this vanilla bean in there and any egg part that may have cooked we want to remove that and strain it. So we have a, a nice fine mesh strainer. Uh, you can buy the round ones that are only about yay deep. Uh, you don't have to go out and buy a fancy one like so. But you're going to want to definitely put a bowl or some type of container underneath that will catch the liquid. See some people uh, strain it into the sink thinking oh I was supposed to save the liquid. Yep on this one you definitely want to save the liquid. Today we're going to go right into the oven with this. Now, as far as creme brulee dishes are concerned, traditionally, you see a lot of these in the restaurants. We have these fluted edges, more, more of a decorative, but you're looking for a thin, shallow base. So we have uh, four dishes. As you can see, they're sitting into a shallow pan. Reasoning for this, we're gonna be filling this pan with water about three quarters of the way up, creating a water bath. You don't wanna cook the custard at very high heat. It's gonna curdle it. So you wanna slowly cook it and almost steam it. So we're gonna fill each dish just about three quarters of the way. Because it is just eggs and cream, it is a very rich dessert, so you don't need a lot to really satisfy that craving. Now let's take this over to the oven, which we preheated at 300 degrees. Come on over. So we have the pan in the oven, and now we're gonna add some hot water. Try to get as much hot water from the tap as you can. We're just going to fill this up about three quarters of the way. Now the next step is, is kind of creating that seal that's going to kind of help steam it. And we're going to put this into a 300 degree convection oven for approximately 35 to 45 minutes. Checking it right away at the 35 minute mark. You can see the, the, the nice firmness that you have. We're going to put it into the refrigerator and let it set. You don't want to go right from the oven to caramelizing it. Uh, you're going to have a really runny. You want that nice creamy texture. You want the different layers of uh, the warm caramel on top as I'll show you and that nice cold custard on the bottom. Sugar. We're just going to sprinkle that right over the top in a nice even coat. This will give you a little bit of a deeper color and a little bit of a more of a molasses flavor uh, when we caramelize this. But you want to go back and forth even strokes. You don't want to sit here and hold it in one spot. That's going to burn it too quick but even strokes all the way across. As you can see, it's starting to caramelize nice and evenly. And that's what you're looking for. Even crust all the way across the top. 
I know some of you out there are looking at going, I can't wait to dig into that. So we're gonna put that over top. Now, you can eat it just as is, but I'm a chef, so I can't eat it just as is. We like to have some fun. And what's best for creme brulee is some fresh fruit, some fresh berries. So we have some fresh, uh, little fresh strawberries on here we're gonna add. A few of those. Some fresh raspberries. You can buy any berries that are in season. You can do mangoes, you can use apples, pears, uh, plums, peaches. Make a little, you know, fresh compote out of it. We have some blueberries we're gonna add onto there. Oh, that's looking great. And last but not least, we have a little treat for you today. We're gonna be adding some uh, meddling cookies. So we'll put a few of those on there. Uh, these are just a basic uh, lemon madeleine. Uh, you really want to get these? We serve these in our tea every uh, every weekend. So uh, it's a great opportunity to come and check that out. Once again, my name is Chef Robert Ash from the Fisher Hotel. Here's our uh, vanilla creme brulee, and you have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.